Yes, I'm the old woman who lived in a shoe. I had so many children, I didn't know what to do. People used to ask me, how many do you have? And I couldn't answer. You see, I really didn't know. Did I have five children? Or four? Or ten? I'd never counted them. And since I didn't really know how many children I had, I was never really sure how many bowls I'd need for their dinner. I always used to wonder, will this many be enough? Or maybe I should take out one more. I always wished I had a way to be sure, but I was just too busy to stop and think about it. Now I know you're thinking, why didn't she try counting her children? And I knew my numbers. I could say one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But I just didn't know how to use numbers for counting things. If I did, then I would have known how many bowls I needed. I never knew. But one day, my children gave me an idea. Look, there they are. Let's ride them. I wondered if there were enough horses for all my sons. And then I saw how my sons found out, even though they couldn't count things either. Here's one horse for me. And one horse for you. And one for you. And you. And one for you, too. You see? They matched one horse with each boy. That was good thinking. And then I thought, maybe I could use matching to find out how many bowls I needed. I could take my bowls outside and match them with the children. Oh, but that wasn't too good an idea. There had to be an easier way. I wondered about an idea I had that might work. So I said, children, children, I need your help. Would each of you please give me one stone? Well, each of them did. And soon I had a handful of stones, one from each one of my children. And that's how I did it. The stones helped me find out how many bowls I needed. This is how it worked. I laid out the stones. Then I took out my bowls again. I matched one bowl with each stone. That let me be sure that I would have one bowl for each child. Because I knew I had one stone for each child. <laughs> Simple, wasn't it? I didn't know why I hadn't thought of that years ago. That's when I realized that I could match the bowls with numerals in the same way. So I tried. First, I got rid of the stones. Then I put numerals in their places. Then I tried matching the numerals with the bowls, the way I matched the stones with the bowls. I kept the numerals in the right order, the right order order. That was important. Then, with this bowl, I matched the numeral one. There! With the next bowl, the numeral two. Then, the numeral three. It was easy. Point to a bowl, then put down a numeral. Four. And five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. And since nine was the last numeral I matched, that meant that I had nine bowls. And if I had nine bowls, why, I knew how many children I had. Nine! 
nine. Nine children. I had nine children and nine bowls for them. And I kept that number in my head. I knew I'd need nine slices of bread, one for each child. But now I knew how to match each slice with a numeral. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine slices of bread. I counted them. Counting is really easy when you know how to match. Oh, I was so excited about counting, but I forgot I had to finish getting dinner ready. Is dinner ready? Can we eat? We're hungry. I can't reach his hook. Me neither. Our, Our hooks, hooks are, are too, too high. high. I hate bending down. Me too. Our hooks are too, too low. low. The hooks. Oh, they were another problem. But I thought, maybe I could try matching again. So I imagined that all the children were gone. And then I saw how the hooks were arranged. The lowest hook was at one end. And the hooks got higher toward the other end. The hooks were arranged in order by height. Then I thought, if my children arrange themselves in order by height, the same way the hooks were arranged, why, the taller children would have hooks they could reach, and the shorter children would have hooks they could reach. And then I decided I could give each hook a numeral. And if the children always remember their numerals, they would always be able to find their right hooks. Oh, I was so excited, but I hadn't forgotten my hungry children. All nine of them. That day, I had the right number of bowls. Finally, it was wonderful. On one tray, I had one, two, three, three bowls. On another tray, you guessed it, three bowls. And on the other one, three more. That helped me make a very interesting discovery. I knew that I had three and three and three more bowls. But I also remembered I had nine bowls. So nine had to be the same as three and three and three. And then I thought, nine children. But how many are girls and how many are boys? I had one. Two, three, four. Four girls. And I had one, two, three, four, five. Five boys. And that's how I discovered five and four is also the same as nine. They're different names for the same number. Oh, there were so many things I wanted to count. And I taught my children how to do it, too. Yes, I'm the old woman who lived in a shoe. I can count my nine children. I know what to do. They need nine spoons and bowls and nine slices of bread. And tonight they'll sleep snugly in nine little beds.